We're here with Max Sirena, team principal, Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli. Max, back in Cagliari after sailing the AC40 in Barcelona. You were on board today. Can you break us the day, the, the day for us? Can you break down the day for us? Yeah, no, I think it was good to to get back uh, to to home water and, uh, and go back to our uh, AQ12 because at the end uh, is where we're going to do most of the development of, uh, of this campaign. We had a pretty good and intense uh, session in Barcelona. It was good to have a chance to race against the other, the other team for the first time. And um, so uh, we came back from Barcelona with a pretty good uh, um, feedback from the practice we had. And uh, I think it's going to be a pretty big uh, learning curve for everyone uh, for the first uh, event in Villanova in a few weeks' time. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to sail here for a couple of weeks uh, or a touch more uh, to keep going with our development and then uh, we switch to a racing mode finally. You guys moved back uh, with wing three on port. How is the cross-checking going between all the appendages? Uh, it was wing four on port and wing three on, on starboard. And uh, it was good. I think it's good to have, uh, um, to have all the boys uh, on, uh, on board and having the feedback of everyone the previous session. We didn't have Jimmy, and um, so it's good to have feedback of the other guys as well. And uh, and uh, again, it's part of the process. Uh, we, I think, everyone is getting close to final call in some of the of the, of the departments. So uh, more day we sail, more uh, inf info, and more confident we we will have to take the final decision. And regarding the tax, it seems you guys uh, were inducing a tiny bit more heel windward heel than usually. Is that something you, you saw, of course? I, I, I think, again, it's part of the development. We are, we are uh, uh, obviously, every, every time we, get, we are going out in the water, we're analyzing the video and everything. And um, obviously, we, we want to try different setup, different modding, and uh, to find the best, uh, the, best, uh, the best setup we think, we believe is going to be faster for uh, overall for the race. But I, I, I think we will see these uh, going on until a uh, few days before the cup, because once you see the other guy doing different technique or, or so on, you want to test it, you want to try it. And so I think it's part of, it's part of the learning process of uh, everyone. Can we just say the R&D of the team is on point and on schedule? Well, I don't know. You should ask, uh, you should ask them. I mean, some of them were in holiday, lucky them. and. Uh, I think everyone, I mean, the only thing you cannot buy is the time. So everyone is pushing and is rushing to try to make as much as possible out in the water. Uh, obviously, you need to look for quality as well, not just hour in the water, just for fun. So again, I think the next couple of months, they're going to be pretty intense for everyone because uh, soon next year, we're going to launch the boat and, uh, and everyone needs to be more focused on the racing mode and uh, with the fact that you, you can only build one Big boat, you need to be spot on. Max, un commento in italiano per uh, tifosi. Ma è bello essere tornati qui nelle, nelle acque di casa. E, mh, abbiamo avuto una bella sessione intensa a Barcellona. Abbiamo avuto la fortuna di poter finalmente fare dei practice race contro gli altri team. Quindi è sempre emozionante ed eccitante, anche da un punto di vista agonistico, per i velisti, molto. È molto affascinante, è importante no? perché ti, ti riporta con i piedi per terra. Adesso, oggi siamo usciti per la prima volta, staremo qui un po' più di due settimane prima di eh, switchare nel race in mode per il primo evento in Villanova a metà settembre. Eh, il nostro programma di sviluppo continua ancora per, per i prossimi mesi fino a quando non avremo finito tutte le chiamate che dovremo fare relative alla barca, alla barca nuova. Grazie, Max. Grazie a voi.